and Golan's head to the polls on Wednesday in a tight race. The main ruling party MPLA remains favourite, but the margin is narrow enough for a surprise victory for the opposition coalition UNITA. This could shift relations with global superpowers, with possibly less friendly ties with Russia. President João Lourenço, who is seeking re-election, voted while surrounded by heavy security. We have just exercised our right to vote. It's fast and simple. We advise all eligible citizens to do the same. In the end, we will all win. Democracy wins and Angola wins. Opposition leader Alberto Costa Jr. was forced to vote at a polling station different from the one where he was supposed to because of problems with registration. My expectation is that the day goes normally, that it's tranquil and that at the end of the day all votes are respected, all results are placed at the polling stations as the law says. And that Angola celebrates its choices. The National Electoral Commission told reporters Wednesday morning that, quote, the process is proceeding in an orderly and peaceful manner. In a tense run-up to the vote for both president and parliament, you need to urge voters to stay near polling stations after voting to reduce the risk of fraud. Analysts say tweaked vote counting rules may delay official results by days. It could raise tensions which some fear may boil over into violence. A UNITA victory could weaken decades of close ties with Moscow. The MPLA was a Cold War proxy during Angola's 27-year civil war ending in 2002, while UNITA was US-backed. Costa Jr. said on Twitter that UNITA condemned the invasion of Ukraine by Russia. He also travelled to Brussels and Washington to build ties with Western partners before elections. Lorenzo has opened up to the West since his 2017 election. But in March, Angola abstained from supporting a United Nations resolution which condemned Russia's war in Ukraine.